margarine tub. The bigger you can find, the better. And I've got one with a round bottom there. And then take a clump of plasticine, big enough to fit into the palm of your hand, and roll it into a ball. And then squash it on a flat surface into a flat, circular pancake. You need to just press down on top of it, like that, so that it's about one centimetre thick, so that it's big enough to just fit into the bottom your margarine tub like that and it has to leave a gap of at least one centimetre around the edge that's very important you'll see why in a minute then take the flat surface of your plasticine and draw any design you like into it and I'll tell you what looks really good your star sign now, of course your star sign depends on what birthday you are but if you don't know what your star sign is or even what it looks like why don't you look in the daily newspapers they always have little drawings of them in there on the stars page now, my birthday is in October, so I'm Libra, which is the scales. So I'm just going to draw in with a blunt pencil a set of scales. Now, I'm going to draw a complicated picture. It's a very simple picture. It out. Very effective. And don't press in too hard. You don't want to go right through the plasticine. And you can always use your finger just to press in detail like that. So the scales there. And do one on that side there. Again, pressing it in with my finger and I'll do a couple of stars there because after all it is a star sign. It looks a little bit messy at the moment. You watch what happens in a minute. A couple of more stars around there. And then just place the plasticine in the bottom of your margarine tub. Now again this is very important. So you have to press the edges down with your finger so that they're very firm onto the margarine tub. This is so Put the plaster of Paris mixture in, you don't want it to seep underneath. And if you do squash any of your picture at this stage, you just go over it again in pencil. And you've done that there, that's nice and solid. Then take five tablespoons of plaster of Paris powder, taking a plaster of Paris from the chemist or from our shop, and mix it with about a mugful of water. If you can't get plaster of Paris, you can always use some molding powder from the art shops. And if you get a packet of this, a whole packet will do. Of these, so it's good value. And then just pour your plaster of Paris mixture into your margarine tub, like that. There it goes. And then cut a length of string that's about 40 centimetres along. Lay it over your tub like that, and then press the middle of the string down so that it goes into the plaster of Paris about one centimetre. Just hold it in there, like that, and then leave it to set. And look, do me a favour, if you've got any plaster of Paris mixture left over, don't pour it down the drains, because when it sets, it will block them up. Just pour it into a plastic bag, and when it sets, put it in the bin. Now, it'll take about half an hour for your plaster of Paris to set, and when it's set, it's got rock solid like this, and the string is firmly stuck in there. And then just crack the outside of your margarine tub, and press out. Look at that, you've got a 3D plaster of Paris, it's like a sculpture at the moment, isn't it? Now, the idea is to paint it, you can use acrylic paint or poster paint, but it's best to just slosh on a layer of paint first to seal in the plaster of Paris. And look, I'm just going to slosh on this blue to show you. Actually, blue works very well because the star sign, the midnight blue. And just slop it on, you can be very neat about it, I'm just slosh it on there to show you. And when it's covered, you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that. And now the good bit pick out the detail using a gold or a silver pen. Look at this, I'm just going down all the raised bits, all these 3D bits, you get this great effect here. And if you go around the outside, around there, it creates a frame. And again, around there, you can do the whole lot, do it very neatly. It takes a bit of time to do. It's finished. You'll have something that looks like that. Look at that. And what we've done is I've even tied the string on the back so it can hang it up, snipped off the excess bits, and that's it. That is my star sign, Libra. And there are 12 star signs to choose from. Find out which is yours. Now, it could be one of these. It could be Cancer, the crab, or it could even be Pisces, the fish. But if you can't find your star sign, why not design your own? Look at that, that star sign, the sun and the moon. So try yourself a 3D plaster of Paris picture.